difficult to work in this business. I demand perfection. It's not as perfect as I want, but as much as possible, of course, because we don't have... It's not me, huh? We offer it to the world. And the heavens are watching also, you know that? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So many people benefit, and many beings benefit, the animals, people, even all, not just the humans, and not just this planet, okay, huh? Mm. Yes, yes, master. Master. yes, Master. So you're a big shot, now. Eh? You're working for the universe, know that? <laughs> you're worthy of vegan pancakes. <laughs> 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 but I'm sorry. I don't even have it myself. So. But it's not Tuesday. <laughs> I can't afford it. Uh, any any more good news for me? Uh, yes, Mr. Tell me. Um, oh, I forgot the story, right? Yes. I tell first the story, or you, you want uh, your question first? Uh, the story, please. So, story, okay, okay. Because halfway already, you will feel bad. <laughs> and then if we keep talking, I will forget it. <laughs> Many times. Okay, so this uh, royal court uh, high scholar, yeah, he was very, very intelligent. You know, nobody in the whole country can beat him. Mm. He can play jokes on them, he can tease them, he can do all kinds of things to annoy them and wreck them, but nobody can do anything to him. Mm. Nobody can catch him. Nobody can make any reason to... to <laughs> To, to catch him, okay? Right. Yes. Yes. So the king, from the king to the lowest official in the court, they hated him. Oh. But there's nothing they can do. There are many jokes that he made. That he made fun of the king and the court officials, but nobody can even do anything. Because he did it in a clever way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody knows he did it. But nobody can do anything. Wow. wow. He's too smart, okay? So everybody hated him <laughs> in the royal court, you know? But nobody can do anything. He's officially passed the exam. He's the best in the country at that time and best of all time. And sometimes they need him to uh, be able to uh, respond to Chinese uh, officials that came to visit Vietnam and make all kind of tests that nobody else can can answer. Yes, yes. yes Master. So they need him, but they hate him. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the stories. Yes. Yes. If I have to tell all his stories, I guess we have to grow old together, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe some other day, whenever I have a chance, I would just mention uh, other stories. Okay, huh? Yes, yes Master. And they didn't record all of them. Yeah, maybe the the king was so embarrassed to let people record it. So <laughs> anyway, these are just some of the stories, but it's a lot already, even these some. So this one is the one time the king and all the court officials went out on the boat, yeah, together, just to sightsee yes. and enjoy whatever they enjoy at their position and pleasure. All right, so in the middle of it, uh, they were talking about old times that whoever is loyal to the king should prove it sometimes. If the king told him to die, he must die. Mm. No question asked. That's the thing. Uh, in Vietnam, we say, Quân sử thần tử, thần bất tử, bất trung, phụ sử tử vong, tử bất vong, bất hiệu. Meaning, if the king orders uh, his official to die, and if he doesn't die, this means he's not loyal enough. Okay? He's not loyal. Yes. Oh. yes. And if your father told you to die and you don't die, that means you're not filial. Oh. Oh. My God, what a... What a... <laughs> what a... <laughs> All right, then. So they already planned together that that day he's going to die. Mm. The king will, will make an excuse to make him die. Mm. Yeah. Mm. In the middle of the river, mm. wow. a big river. They were on the boat, so there's no way he could escape. So they planned already, yeah? So they invited him with all courtesy and friendliness, and they all went together on boats, big royal boats and beautiful, and ate and drank and all that. And in the middle of that, they cited that slogan, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and they cited that, oh, many lawyer officials, they often die for the king in the battle and all that. But who would even die without asking why, without any reason to prove his loyalty? Yes. yes. And then they already planned, so they pointed to him, 
it, you know, this, <laughs> this royal people. But he would do it. He would. He would. <laughs> yeah, he's the best, you know, and he knows all these rules and regulations about the king and loyalty and all that. So we're sure he would do that. Yeah. And they all pointed at him, none pointed at each other or, or the other one. Just him. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So the king said, well, my dear officials, yeah, would you die for me if I tell you to? So the royal scholar official immediately said, of course, of course, your majesty, I would. Everybody know that already. They already appointed to me. <laughs> yeah. So the king said, really? You really would die if I order you to die? He said, of course. A lawyer, official, to do anything the king asks. No question. Yeah. Oh, so the king said, okay, then go jump into the river and die. They knew he couldn't swim. Oh. So he jumped down. But they thought he couldn't swim. They thought. But he had secretly learned to swim. <laughs> he learned many things. <laughs> to deal with this kind of king and court officials, yeah, yeah. because many times they wanted to fix him. Oh, right. Mm. Many times they wanted, but many times they failed. So yeah. he, he learned all kinds of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he jumped down and disappeared. Oh. 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 A few uh, seconds later, he appeared again and climbed onto the ship of the king. And everybody said, huh, you didn't die? <laughs> <laughs> you could swim? You could dive, and uh, now you came back up, and you didn't die. But the king told you to die. What's the reason that you disobey the king? You cannot do that. That is a very big crime, meaning uh, this is the kind of crime that even you, you, your three generations can have their heads chopped together with you. Oh. Yeah, in old time, it's like that. They chop all the clan's heads wow. from old to unborn, so to avoid the revenge later on. Oh, yes. Uh, if one is found out to have committed treason or anything like that, or even just being disrespectful to the king, then that's a great crime. You and the whole three generations will be killed together, chop heads. Yeah. So everybody was uh, scolding him and making him feel guilty and all that, and the king said, you explain to me. And uh, so this uh, royal official scholar told the king, Your Majesty, I went down there. I'm already dead. But then I, I saw Xiyun, one of the, the very loyal uh, officials in the older time, other dynasty. And I met him, Xiyun. He's very famous for being loyal because his king has been betrayed. So he just jumped. He did not want to be the official to the king of the new dynasty. Okay? Yes. Yeah. No. Is that so? Is that true? Yes. See you, huh? Yes. So every uh, May 5th in the lunar calendar, they make a, a big festival to celebrate, to remember him as the most loyal official of all time in China. So this uh, royal Vietnamese royal scholar say, I went down there and I died. And then I met Xi Yun. <laughs> because they, that man already died, you know, he, he jumped, he drowned himself. Mm. Yeah, Sui Yun was the one who, who jumped into the water to die. Uh, yeah, no. in loyalty to his old king. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in Vietnam, we have some stories like that also, yeah. I, I will tell you another day, or maybe later afterwards. Uh, remind me. Yes, all right, Master. It could be fit the Ukraine situation. In Vietnam, we have many stories. Good people, heroes, and intelligent, and all that. Wonderful country. Okay, so now, he said, I went out there, died, and I met Xi Yin. Xi Yin scolded me. That uh, old uh, dead official already, the one that drowned before, mm -hmm. in uh, loyalty to his king, he scolded me, Your Majesty. So the king said, oh, Why did he scold you? What for? Why? What did he say? So this the royal excellency told the king that your majesty he told me that he died because he did not want to serve the new king the new king was brutal and a tyrant that's why he jumped into the river and drowned himself but your king is an excellent good king 
Why do you have to die? <laughs> <laughs> so you better go back up. <laughs> That's why I had to go up because he's right. Your Majesty, you are a very excellent king. You are benevolent. You are compassionate, loving, and kind to all your people, including to this little humble self. <laughs> So he said, I have to continue to serve you in order to repay your, your, you know, benevolence and kindness, your majesty. That's why I could not die. He pushed me back up. <laughs> the old king was a bad king, and he tried to tell him to be better, but the king did not listen. He listened to all this flattery of other officials instead, so he, he drowned himself, yeah? The, the Chinese one. Yeah. Yes. Yes.